Welcome to Mindful Mutiny. And this episode is about how to not get discouraged. Sam is an old friend of mine, and he was a home inspector. And he used to take criticism really hard. He used to become really discouraged about wanting to change his life, wanting to change his career. And he'd check into various different training or certifications or schooling or whatever, and he would become discouraged. He might even start something and go a little bit of the way and then start getting discouraged and then just stop. And the net result of all of that is that every time that he would stop his forward momentum on something that he was thinking about, he felt worse about himself. He would go back to work the next day and just feel like there was nothing more for him on this earth. Each time he would start something and then stop it, he would feel less confident less like he was capable or even worthy of accomplishing some of the goals that he wanted to take care of in his life. He was living a self-fulfilling prophecy where his life just simply went nowhere and he was the chief architect of that stagnation. When you're thinking about your life, and by the way, he's doing much better now, Sam was able to transcend the negative self-talk that he had for himself. And he actually followed through on a major life goal of getting a certification that took him into a completely new profession. And he's feeling much better about himself, but it took encouragement from others around him and him having greater self-discipline than ever. Set realistic life goals. Set realistic goals for your day. If the only thing that you could actually accomplish today is making your bed, that's fine. Make your bed. Do something each day that you can say, I did. I cleaned my room today. I walked around the block today. I did something productive today that I had control of. Set goals that you know you can do. Research those goals. Find out how you can cut that big goal into little parts so that all you have to worry about today or this week are the little parts of the big idea. Secondly, focus on progress, not on perfection. Make sure that with your goals, you understand the little bit that you have to do each week in order to accomplish something that may take years. Because yes, you can accomplish incredible things that may take seven, 10 years. You're deciding to become a doctor. Yeah, it's going to take about seven to 10 years for you to finally obtain something like that. But take it week by week. It's not about getting there fast. It's about finally getting there. And with each passing week that you get closer and closer, it's going to feel amazing. The third thing is cultivate a growth mindset. You're going to have setbacks in your life. Things are not going to go as planned. You're going to have things that you planned one way and the exact opposite happens. With every closed door, there are several opportunities that open up to you, even though you have to deal with whatever upset and trauma happened to you. Take these setbacks, take these cues in order for you to completely reinvent yourself and do something even better. And like I said in the first two, take it day by day. You don't have to accomplish building Rome in one week. The fourth thing is seek support and perspective. You need to have people around you that also have that growth mindset. You need to have a network. You need to have a mentor. You need to have somebody that is working with you who maybe is where you want to be and has really tangible things to tell you about how they got there and what you need to do. Somebody, some group of people, some network that helps you understand that you're going at the right speed, that you're doing the right things, that you're accomplishing the goals in the way that you need to, to get where you need to go. It's about that network. It's about that mastermind that's around you, where you have the right perspective. You have the right support around you to get where you need to go. And number five, practice self-compassion. Look, Along the way, you're going to make some mistakes. You're going to have some setbacks. You're going to be late on an assignment. You're going to be uh, set back on the job. Just different things. Those are times when you need to exercise a little bit of giving yourself some space. Don't be perfectionist about this. Give yourself space to make some mistakes. Reset your footing. 
and get back into the game. Life is long. You have time to recover from all sorts of different things. A setback is not the final arbiter of your success in anything. Simply set a course, give yourself grace, and keep moving forward. Your mental health is predicated upon you having a positive mindset in what you do. Your mental health is improved when you are interacting with yourself in a growth-oriented way as opposed to a negative way. Lots of us grew up in environments where we had a lot of negative talk at us or negative messages or negative this and that. All of that stuff needs to be put on a shelf and you need to just simply focus on you and what you can accomplish in the next weeks, months, years. You can do it, but you have to have the grace for yourself, the support network around you, and the positive self-talk inside you that keeps you going on a straight track to where you need to go with the grace to be able to pivot when you need to. I'm Jeremy Van Wert, CEO of High Altitude Mindset. Now go be something great.